Our next speaker is Donna Schwartz. Donna is a photographer and an associate professor at the University of Calgary. She's also the board chair of Exposure. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Donna Schwartz. Photographers often say that photographer makes what's unseen visible. What does this mean? I want to share some perspectives with you on what photography can do, what photographers can do, and also what you could do. I'll be using my project in the kitchen as a vehicle for exploring these questions. Now here's the backstory on in the kitchen. Ken and I were both divorced parents of three when we met. After several years, we decided to take the plunge, blend our families, and move in together. That was six kids, two dogs, versus two optimistic parents. We knew our love for each other and for our kids would help us create a loving, nurturing home. But our kids thought they knew better. They were skeptical. They claimed that moving in together did not make us a family. They bonded in their opposition, and that made me start to wonder, well, what does make a family? If we did become a family, would I be able to see it happening? Could I photograph it? What would it look like? And so I set to work. For two and a half years, I photographed the hub of my family's activity, our crowded, chaotic kitchen. I reasoned that I could learn everything I needed to know about family life by focusing my attention on the everyday interactions that happened in this single shared space. I should confess that in the midst of the teenage angst and the turmoil, hiding behind my camera, seemed like a safe place to be. <laughs> it was one of the few activities and outcomes I felt I was controlling. So I was hunting for moments that would tell the story of our family's emergence. And I was looking for ways to make those moments into photographs. So what did I discover? I discovered the podium shapes. <laughs> I started with a top-down view. Parents, that's us, we pass on our ways of doing and being from one generation to the next. That's how family is defined. That's what knits us all together. So that's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. So I did discover and make pictures of moments that represented that perspective. <laughs> but something surprised me, something that I wasn't really expecting, which is by definition a surprise, I guess. <laughs> I discovered that our kids were learning as much, if not more, from one another as they were from us. It's a little terrifying, but it can't be denied. We were nudging, but the real force was sibling driven. We were certainly important in what was happening, but what I watched unfold in front of my lens knocked me down a peg, maybe two pegs, maybe more. Now, I said that things were unfolding in front of my lens, but I want to point out that the camera didn't make these pictures. I made them. Photography doesn't capture reality. Photographers use cameras to represent the things that they see. So when I'm hiding behind the lens, I'm busy and I'm working hard. When photographers make pictures, we're actively looking. We're thinking about picture elements and the moment of capture. That moment when things converge and a picture results. We look, we hunt, we wait, and we pounce. <laughs> when I put on my photography hat, my daughter is no longer my daughter. She's a piece of the puzzle that I'm balancing with the other pieces that are presented to me. Laura has transformed into a potential visual element in an image that might happen. I wait and I watch, and I hope the dog complies. 
<laughs> Chelsea may be angsty or angry or hungry or perfectly delightful, but it doesn't matter. At this moment, she's my muse. She's dressed in colors that match her cereal. The line of her arm parallels her dad's. It's a singular moment among moments that I've preserved in my image. Two of the girls together, another parallel moment I've discovered and captured. Notice the family portrait between them. Did you see it? When I'm photographing, I notice everything. That's my job as a photographer. I'm responsible for everything that appears in the image. But I'm not the only photographer in the room tonight. Each of you is probably carrying a camera right now. You've probably taken a picture today. You've probably shared it with someone else, as I'm doing right now. More and more, we communicate with one another through photographs. So what should we do with all those pictures? How might we make them add up to something? Photographing in the kitchen, I wanted to understand the nature of family. It's breaking apart, and it's coming together. But I also came to appreciate the everyday. It's in those moments, the ones we forget to look at, that our life histories are made. So I encourage all of you photographers out there, and I mean all of you, to make your own histories. They're on your phones already. Choose the places where your day-to-day -day happens and start looking at what you forgot to look at and make some pictures. It's a way for us to discover ourselves. It's a way for us to know where we've been, who we are, and to imagine where we might be going. Ta-da! Come on, shorts. <laughs>